Step 1. Check that the brake chamber push rod is in its fully released position. With spring brakes, a minimum pressure of 6 bar is required in the system to ensure that the piston is fully released. Clean the camshaft splines. Step 2. Grease the camshaft splines and fit the slotted anchor bracket, but do not tighten. Step 3. Fit the automatic socket adjuster onto the camshaft so that the arrow of the socket adjuster points in the direction of the application of the socket adjuster and ensure the control arm mates with the anchor bracket. Step 4. Wind the automatic socket adjuster into the clevis head of the brake chamber by rotating the hexagon nut clockwise until the hole of the socket adjuster lines up with the hole in the clevis head. Do not use air tools for this. Step 5. Grease the clevis head pin and fit through the clevis head and socket adjuster. The pin should rotate freely when there is no load applied. Step 6. If required, fit a wear indicator and return spring. Then fit the camshaft washer and circlet. Step 7. Rotate the control arm around as far as possible in the direction indicated on the body of the automatic socket adjuster. Do not hammer the control arm. The indicator on the control arm should now line up with the notch on the cover plate. Now fix the anchor bracket in place by tightening the mounting bolts. Step 8. Rotate the hexagon nut on the automatic socket adjuster clockwise until the brake linings touch the drum. Do not use air tools for this. Step 9. Back off the brake clearance by rotating the hexagon nut three quarters of a turn anti-clockwise. Do not use air tools for this. Backing off produces a loud clicking noise. Step 10. The functioning of the automatic socket adjuster can be checked by leaving a ring spanner on the hexagon nut and applying the brakes five times. The automatic socket adjuster is working when the hexagon nut rotates clockwise on the return stroke. 